And Helmstetter asked us out to about the five yard line. Looked really like a game, shot huh? to the head. Oh, she's played. Really good game. It was a terrific kick to get her as the fantasy, fantasy play. Yeah. And then, you know, I think we all have Kyle DeHaven on ours, which is oh, yeah. wise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We, we get so much money move. to spend on our LFL thing, right, and right. you say, well, I'll drop as much as I have to to grab a Kyle DeHaven and Mary Rose Roach. Timeout by Rick Reeder now. There's a reason. You may want to make a, take a shot in the end zone and make a big play. And you know what, Tom? They haven't had uh, any luck tackling DeHaven. I'm not so sure I don't put the ball in DeHaven's hands to see if I can't get a home run. And Rick has got a couple of plays where it's going to go to DeHaven and then come back to a quarterback. He's got some things here that are still in play that he may need right now. They need a touchdown for that point differential. Yeah, yeah, folks, it's 34-6. to six. You say, what the heck's Baltimore doing? This is kind of cheap and, and, and right. bad football. No, we've talked about it. we got to beat it up because it's so important. And don't kid yourself, Tampa and Orlando oh, also Tampa watching. Two years ago, no, they're watching. Yeah, you, you, this is huge because point differential matters. You never know what's going to happen in the games in front of you. All you can do is take care of your business. And your business says when we're in the position we're in, score as many points as we can. What a game we ought to have next week. Las Vegas was terrific oh. in Chicago in their opener. Boy, they Seattle shocked people, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Next Friday night, DeHaven comes in motion to the right-hand side. Green fades out. back. Looking, it is caught by DeHaven. She's got it out near midfield. It's a first down and more. <laughs> Kyle DeHaven does absolutely everything on this football field. A great catch. First down, and they got to hurry. 13 seconds left. They got to stop this clock. DeHaven went in motion and ran what we call a little wheel route. It's a flatten up, Tommy. Came across motion, goes yep. to the flat. Yep. Look to the flat. Nice job. Baltimore's calling timeout. A little flatten up to throw the ball down the field to take your shot. Nice throw by Stacy. And I love Stacy Moon's ball position. I call it keeping it loaded up, Tommy. She doesn't have it too high or too low because when you throw it, you got to get that ball loaded on your back shoulder, and it's always in position to throw. Nice job, and she's accurate with the football. Her growth from last year to this year is spectacular. Oh, it's huge. And she hasn't had to throw much tonight, but when she has had to throw, she's been very pinpoint and accurate. Let's listen to DeHaven on that last catch. Let's listen in. Ten and a half seconds left. We can't say enough about Toronto. They've been terrific with eight days of, of credit. You bet, Tom. I give these girls a lot of credit. What a great night. Yes. Pitch goes back. Here's that double throw. Looking long, looking into the end zone. Two daughter. Touchdown. Hell yeah. Penalty flag. Penalty flag. They'll decline this. This is offsides, I mm -hmm. believe, against Toronto. Oh, a little pitch back throw to the hay. Wow. Tom, uh, you know what? We've seen some spectacular players. Let's listen in with Legal defense on the linebacker. That penalty is declined. Result of the play, touchdown. Wow, that's a huge touchdown. Kyle DeHaven. Wow. Good gracious, folks. Yeah. What this else do you crazy. say? Pitch. Little Morgan Spencer, the backup quarterback, making the throw down the field. And look what she does, Tommy. Highest point, reaches and catches. If she allows that ball to get into her body, it's an incomplete pass because the defensive back comes and makes the catch tonight, or makes the uh, knockdown. Nice Going for two. Third touchdown tonight. Up 40 to six. Moon. Handoff. Around the left side. <laughs> Jones is in, and the two point conversion wow. is good. You heard the buzzer yes, go sir. off. It's 42 to yes, 6. Yes, sir. There's a phone booth we got to remove because Kyle DeHaven just stepped out of it. <laughs> to put that Superman oh, jersey man. on again. Unreal. Yep. Unreal. They are. But Toronto standing ovation in this building tonight for these girls that have had eight days to get ready for a good football team. Toronto, great credit. Girls ought to be proud of themselves tonight. Fans gave them a great ovation. They're standing ovation. Eight days to get ready for a good Baltimore team in Baltimore. Played physical, great job up front by the line. Excellent, excellent work. And we got Kyle DeHaven stands by Tommy with our Lauren Gardner. Lauren, Go ahead, Lauren. Thanks, guys, Kyle. You were outstanding tonight. Let's talk about the playoff implications. So you guys went for it. We were talking about you ran up the score a little bit, but it's something you really had to do. Yeah, we know that. You know, it's going to come down to a couple of years being tied. And we know we had to get some points. So we got to get the points. If it comes down to tiebreakers, because we're in the hole right now. So we no matter, no matter what, we just want to keep punching it in, no matter what. You are incredible on both sides of the ball. Tell me, how do you keep up your stamina during this entire game? 
I know, I just don't think about it. <laughs> she doesn't think very hard about it. Kyle, congratulations on tonight's victory and your performance. I'll let you go celebrate with your team, guys. <laughs> she was terrific. Let's take a look at standings real quick. Lord, be careful, Lauren. Kyle may tackle you. Look at the standings. Philadelphia Tommy, we think, is as good as anybody. Uh -huh. But there, look at the differential. They closed. Baltimore with that win, two and one. Look at Tampa, two and one. Great job going from minus to plus tonight. Uh -huh. The point differential by Baltimore. Tommy, Final, great job tonight, my man. Lord you too, Zane. partner. Final score tonight from Rico Coliseum. Baltimore wins it 42 to 6. Now we're rolling up the turf. Heading to the Great Northwest next Friday night. What should be a terrific game when the Seattle Miss holds Las Vegas in in a Western Conference showdown. That's next Friday night.